the activity that you are avoiding contains your biggest opportunity hello my dear students welcome to the channel this is your annapurna ma'am and i hope you all are absolutely fine today children we are going to learn how to prepare some of the inorganic acids like the hydrochloric acid the sulfuric acid and the nitric acid now children the inorganic acids are also known as the mineral acids now they are highly soluble in water they are corrosive in nature and they have many full uses in our day to day lives so how to prepare the hydrochloric acid now we can prepare the hydrochloric acid by direct synthesis method by combining the hydrogen gas and the chlorine gas but another method is also used to prepare the hydrochloric acid that is as we all know when a salt and an acid reacts we get another salt another new salt and another acid so this is the method which we will apply to prepare this hydrochloric acid both in the laboratory as well as we use it in the industrial level so in this a salt is taken the normal the the common salt that is sodium chloride and sulfuric acid now these reactants they are made to react at a temperature above 200 degree celsius now we get the result the resultant uh, product as sodium sulfate and the hydrochloric acid this is what we got another salt from uh, from our original salt we got another new salt and a new acid that is hydrochloric acid now let us see experimental setup how to prepare the hydrochloric acid now in a round bottom flask we have taken sodium chloride and through a thistle funnel the concentrated sulfuric acid is being added and the resultant salt is being formed that is sodium sulfate and the hydrogen chloride gas is being collected that is through the delivery tube it it transferred it is delivered to another flask which contains hydrogen chloride gas passes through the flask which contains concentrated sulfuric acid so that it can absorb if any water vapors are there and finally the hydrogen chloride gas passes through another delivery tube and is being collected in a big glass jar which contains air and because hydrogen chloride gas is denser is more heavier than air it displaces the air from that glass jar and then the hydrogen chloride gas is being collected by an upward displacement of the air so that is the process how we collect the hydrogen chloride gas later this hydrogen chloride gas is being dissolved in water it because it is highly soluble in water and then we can get the hydrochloric acid now let us know the uses of this hydrogen this hydrochloric acid why we have to prepare it now it has many uses as you all know hydrogen hydrochloric acid is being naturally produced in our stomach because it helps us to to help us to digest our food and it's also used in the industrially it's used in industrially to process steel it's also used in the manufacturing of batteries of the photo flash bulbs and even the fireworks so now next children will learn how to prepare the nitric acid now nitric acid is prepared in the similar way in the same method that is followed in the hydrochloric acid that is a reaction between a an acid and a salt again it gives the similar type of products 
a different, a new, another salt and another acid. So, in this case also we can use a salt, a nitrate salt that is a metallic salt. It can be potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate. It is being reacted with an acid which is sulfuric acid to give another salt that is sodium sulfate and the nitric acid or if we use potassium nitrate then the resultant product will be the result, resultant salt will be the potassium sulfate along with the acid nitric acid. Now here some few precautions are made are kept are used like we cannot use any material other than the glass material because nitric acid is highly corrosive in nature so it even corrodes the rubber the rubber corks that are used at the mouths of the flask so in the, during during the preparation of the nitric acid the apparatus should be all the apparatus should be made up of glass material so now let's see how the how let's see the experimental setup for preparation of the nitric acid now in a again the round bottom flask we take a sodium nitrate and sulfuric acid now this two reactants are being heated it's an endothermic reaction it needs heat to uh, a temperature more than 200 degrees celsius so and the resultant products are formed that is the sodium sulfate along with the vapors of the nitric acid now the nitric acid vapors that are being formed they are transferred through this glass retort and they are then cooled under running tap water then finally the liquid nitric acid is being collected here we have to notice that why don't we use concentrated hydrochloric acid for the preparation of nitric acid but we are using concentrated sulfuric acid that is because hydrochloric acid is highly volatile in nature that is it changes to its vapor form easily and it's where it becomes difficult to obtain to collect the nitric acid vapors from the vapors of the hydrochloric acid so that is the reason why we don't use hydrochloric acid in the formation during the formation of uh, the nitric acid we only use the sulfuric acid so children hope you have understood how we are getting this uh, nitric acid vapors then finally we get the after cooling the vapors we get the liquid form of the nitric acid now let's see what are the uses of this nitric acid now nitric acid is being is widely used to prepare fertilizers to prepare nitrogen containing compounds like the nylon as well as the explosives like the nitroglycerin and the TNT TNT is the trinitrotoluene okay and it's also used to prepare the nitrate salts and drugs dyes perfumes and medicines Okay, children, now let's try to learn how to prepare the sulfuric acid in the industrial level. Now, to prepare sulfuric acid, we need sulfur, oxygen and water. And this is a three-step process where, which is used industrially to produce sulfuric acid on a large scale. Now, first... The sulfur is burnt in presence of oxygen to give sulfur dioxide. Now this is carried on, carried out in a furnace where the sulfur is being burnt in, in the combustion process in the presence of oxygen to give a sulfur dioxide. Now the second step follows here that is 
in the catalytic converter in the catalytic converter the sulfur dioxide is being oxidized to form sulfur trioxide in, in the presence of a catalyst now the catalyst here is vanadium pentoxide or platinum now what is a catalyst it is a chemical compound which is used to increase the rate of reaction without itself being changed or taking part in the reaction now the temperature required here to convert the sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide that is more than 400 degree celsius and this is carried out in a catalytic converter now after the sulfur trioxide is being obtained this is now allowed to in the absorption towers where it is absorbed in by the water in the absorption tower when it is absorbed in the water we get the sulfuric acid now another method is uh, followed here that is sulfur trioxide is being treated with dilute sulfuric acid to get oleum that's another product oleum from which we can get concentrated sulfuric acid or else sometimes directly from the sulfur trioxide we get sulfuric acid by dissolving in the water by absorbing in the vapors now the, the oleum product helps us to get a good a good concentrated form of sulfuric acid so now children this is the three step process how we got the sulfuric acid in the industrial level it's a three step process which finally gives us the concentrated sulfuric acid now let's see what are the uses of the sulfuric acid why we have to produce it and it is the king of chemicals and so the sulfuric acid helps us to prepare many chemical compounds it is widely used for the production of fertilizers like the ammonium sulfate the superphosphate of lime it's also used to prepare dyes to prepare medicines and many more so children i hope you have understood to prepare these inorganic acids which we have discussed today that is the production of hydrochloric acid the nitric acid and the sulfuric acid so keep writing to me if you have any queries any doubts keep subscribing to my channel for more such videos see you in my next video till then take care and stay safe